Hey, welcome guys. In this video, I'm explaining what ift, if this then that is, and explain and show how you can use it for home automation. So for example, I have Google Home, so I can use it to you know, use voice to just automatically turn on my dining room lights. I can change the colors with them. I can turn my Christmas tree on and off. So I'm gonna be using a very non-tech savvy explanation, assuming you know almost nothing about technology, explaining what ift is, which I sometimes call it ift, t -t 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 uh, and then getting into how to use it and then also with home automation. So ift, which is if this then that, um, is really used a lot in programming. It's one of the core fundamentals of when you're coding a lot. Uh, but to keep it things very simple, uh, it's like this. If this, then do that. So let me give you a non-tech savvy explanation and then get into more technical explanations so you'll understand. So for example, you go to a restaurant um, and you have a condition. If you order a burger combo, then you will get fries on the side, right? Okay. Now, if you go to that same restaurant, and if you order a soup combo, then you will get a dinner roll on the side. So if you do a certain action, it'll perform this outcome, or something else will happen in correlation to it, right? So now moving a little bit more into the programming side, how is it used in coding, for example? For example, this YouTube video you're watching, on this YouTube page, there is a thumbs up icon. If you click that thumbs up icon, I get a like. That's how it's used in coding. That's a very simple example. So be sure to hit that like button, you know, because I did explain pretty quickly what ift is. Um, but there's another condition. If you hit the thumbs down button, your cell phone or computer will explode. So do not hit the thumbs down button, all right? Now, how does it actually work? The service itself. It's a free service. There are some premium accounts. A lot of it is for developers, but you can kind of go in and just start making your own stuff. So um, I'll show you how that's done. It's really simple. Okay, so this is the app on Android. There's also one available for iOS. Um, but you do not have to use a smartphone app. You can actually use your web browser. So you can just go to the IFT website and just do it from there. Um, so one thing I noticed is that the recipes, or see the applet section? They used to be called recipes. And recently they changed it to applets. So basically, whether it be on the website or the app, basically have this uh, recommended section, what's kind of trending, but you can use currently existing ift applets. You don't have to create your own. Uh, so you can also search. But let's say I can't find anything. I want to make my own. That's probably the, the main chunk you guys want to see. So what you have to do is use my applets. Here's a whole bunch I have from before. One is uh, designed for making Google Home curse and swear. Um, if you want to see that video, which is pretty amusing, I'll put a link to the um, video in the video description. And here's a whole bunch of other ones. So like this one is for my smart plug to turn my Christmas tree on and off. So let's just create one. Hit the plus button. Oops, I hit the wrong button, hit the gear. So plus button. So here it is. If this, then do that, right? So I have to say if this is done. So let's say something here. And we'll use Google Assistant because I had the Google Home product. So there's a whole bunch related to Google, as you can see. Um, so you have a different assortment of options. You should say a, a phrase with a text ingredient, uh, say a simple phrase, say a number. So I usually keep it simple. I usually just say a simple phrase. So what do you want to say? Um, hello, YouTube world, right? And then you can choose what do you want the assistant to say? So I could just be like, I could tell Google to be like, hello to you as well. So that's what it's going to do, right? So I'm going to say hello YouTube world and then Google's going to be like, well, hello to you as well. Now the response back phrase, that is kind of exclusive to Google Home. So if you, you can use if this then that with your Gmail account. So for example, uh, every time, if you receive a Gmail account, then write a text to your Google Drive document. You do not have to use this with Amazon Echo. You do not have to use this with uh, uh, Google Home. You can use this with anything. You can use it with Twitter, Gmail. You can make the stupidest recipes that make no sense. There's almost no limitation. Um, it's only kind of based on your imagination, right? So in this example, we're still continuing. If this, then that. So I'm going to choose Philips Hue. And then we'll say blink the lights. So I haven't connected with if just yet. Um, but in this example, with the recipe I just created, what it's going to do 
is if I say hello YouTube world, Google Home is going to respond, well hello to you too, and then I can say blink the lights and my smart light bulbs will start blinking. Doesn't make any sense, but again, it's only due to your uh, imagination and you can do whatever you want. So let me show you some home automation in action. So what I have here is my Christmas tree, which is connected to a Wemo smart plug. Um, and that Wemo smart plug is IFT to compatible. And, and then I have Google Home, which is also IFT compatible. So that's something I'm able to use an applet to make the Google Home and the Wemo smart plug uh, communicate with one another. Now, a review video of the Google Home product, the Wemo smart plug, I'll put links to those in my YouTube channel. There's a playlist just called Smart Home. Uh, so you can find stuff to those links there. And so yeah, so what I can basically say is a custom phrase. I put a custom phrase that, hey, if I say turn on the Christmas tree, Google Home will respond saying, okay, bring in the Christmas cheer. And then the action, like the outcome, will let the lights turn on, right? So that's my if this, then that. So here's an example. Okay, Google, turn on the Christmas tree. Okay, bring in the Christmas cheer. And that's it. I can do the same thing to turn it off. I said another custom command to turn it off. Um, so how did I make Google Home curse and swear? It is possible. So it's really simple based on what I showed you guys already. I set a custom phrase command in if this then that. So the first phrase that I have to say out loud from my own mouth is maybe I'll be swearing at Google Home, whatever it may be. Then at the bottom, which I showed you guys earlier, Google Home has to respond with something. And that's where I put the curse words and swearing that Google Home's gonna say out loud. Now, the problem is, as I, as I explained in the other video, which I make Google Home curse and swear, is that Google actually censors swear words. They're actually clever enough to do that. So what I had to do is misspell the swear word with very similar spelling. Uh, I explained that much more in detail in the swearing video. Again, a link to that is in the video description. But then the problem is, that's the if this command, right? So I have to say something and then it says something, but then I still have to put it then that command. So instead of like make, making Google Home Christmas swear back and forth with me and turning my Christmas tree on or my dining room lights on and off because they're also smart and if compatible, uh, I just made it so it's connected to my Google Drive account and I'll write a random text in um, a Google document. So that's how I made Google Home Carson swears. Really simple. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, be sure to check out my Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, and Instagram links in the video description. That like button does help. Subscribe and thanks for watching.